Cloudflare has disclosed that it fell victim to a likely nation-state attack, wherein the perpetrators exploited stolen credentials to gain illicit entry into its Atlassian server, subsequently accessing certain documentation and a limited amount of source code. The breach, occurring between November 14 and 24, 2023, with detection on November 23, was aimed at securing persistent and widespread access to Cloudflare's worldwide network. The company characterized the threat actor as sophisticated, noting their methodical and deliberate approach. In response, Cloudflare took extensive measures, including rotating over 5,000 production credentials, segregating test and staging systems, conducting forensic evaluations on 4,893 systems, and resetting every machine across its global network. During the attack, the adversary conducted a four-day reconnaissance phase to infiltrate Atlassian Confluence and JIRA portals. Subsequently, they established a rogue Atlassian user account, gaining persistent access to the Atlassian server and eventually breaching the Bitbucket source code management system via the Sliver Adversary Simulation Framework. Approximately 120 code repositories were accessed, with an estimated 76 being exfiltrated by the attacker. These repositories primarily pertain to backup procedures, network configuration, identity management, remote access, and the use of Terraform and Kubernetes. Despite encryption, a few repositories contained secrets that were promptly rotated as a precautionary measure. Additionally, the threat actor attempted unsuccessfully to access a console server related to a data center in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The attack leveraged one access token and three service account credentials associated with Amazon Web Services, AWS, Atlassian Bitbucket, MoveWorks, and Smartsheet, pilfered during the October 2023 breach of Okta's support case management system. Cloudflare admitted to neglecting to rotate these credentials, mistakenly assuming they were inactive. Efforts to terminate all malicious connections initiated by the threat actor were initiated on November 24, 2023, alongside an independent assessment of the incident conducted by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. The breach was confined to Cloudflare's Atlassian environment, with the intruders seeking information on the architecture, security, and management of the global network by analyzing accessed wiki pages, bug database issues, and source code repositories.